what's going on today, bread gang? How are you guys doing today? I am here with the man himself. Where are you going? Where are you going? Come here, come here, come here. So I'm over here, look. I'm gonna let you guys know. We're at, we're at Mag's Upholstery. You guys saw a sponsor of today's video. If you need anything interior-wise, embroidery-wise, take it from me. He does awesome work. Hit him up. He's in, are we in Marietta right now? We're in Marietta. Come find him. His Instagram will be in the link in the description below. If you guys get him to a thousand followers on Instagram, we will be super happy and I might have a surprise for one of you guys. So make sure to go hit that link in the description. Follow him on Instagram. We got a couple things to get done today, but you guys see the title, you see the thumbnail. It's a new year. We've got big plans for the new year. Alex has big plans for the new year. Alex got a new truck and we're gonna be building his truck on the channel. So stay tuned for that. He just got a 2014? 13. 13, 2013 Ford F-150. And we're gonna be doing it all up nice. LM Raps is gonna be involved. That wide bow tie is gonna be involved. You know it's gonna be a fun time. So stay tuned for that. I'll have more updates on that. Let's get in to the, uh, we got so much to do today. So we're over here at Mags. I'm checking out his new shop that he's about to move into. Checking out the truck. I'll show you guys that in the next couple of videos. But we gotta go get the brakes checked out a little bit. The brakes are fine. I just don't have as much pressure as I would like to have. So I need to get that figured out today. But I'm letting you guys know Today is kind of going to be one of those videos where we're doing stuff, but I have a completely different agenda that's going around the video. So I want to give you guys a full build list of the truck in the Tahoe today. For those of you that are new to the channel, thank you guys for subscribing. It means the world to me for, for you joining the bread gang because we like to get the spread. That's what we do. So I'm going to give you guys a, a, a semi full build list and the new plans for the new year for the truck in the Tahoe. You guys know that we've been wanting to do big stuff with the truck in the Tahoe and I'm going to kind of reveal some of those secrets to you guys today. So stay tuned. I hope you guys are excited. Let's get into it. Holy crap. You guys seen him in the videos working at Magnum, but yeah, I, want, I wanted him to drive the Jeep because it's oh, a nice truck. You feel, you feel like a big boy? I feel like a real off-road vehicle owner now. Here, hold on. Having to lift the, oh Here, man. Put, put, put these bad boys on, those heat wave visuals that you can get tons oh, of stuff using the coupon code do a damn. <laughs> those, those are some good driving glass, aren't they? They wrap around the whole fucking, I tell everybody. I was best I, driving glasses. I was going to run over everything in the world until I put these glasses on. And now you now could you're not. you could put me in the uh Millennium Falcon. Yeah, I mean you could put me in something. I was trying to come up with some foreign race that you could put me in, but Yeah, the the uh you know Indy five hundred or something. The Kessel run? Yeah. You can do it in under twelve parsecs. Wow. It's easy, right? We haven't like, even gotten out of the parking lot yet. Dude, this thing rips, <laughs> right? Like, just like, mad it. For 38s? Holy For 38s, crap. For 38s, this thing fucking, it's got like, almost no oh. body roll. It's got like, no body roll, really. It's fucking, feels good. Wow. It drives just like this stock. Well, I mean, you said that, that it didn't change. It did. It didn't change everything in the world oh, underneath, dude. so. Oh, man. What? Can find something to climb. I'll let you. Yeah, whenever you're ready, I'm gonna turn back and climb that shit. <laughs> well, this video just took a turn for uh, for the worst. Yeah. You drive good. I mean, like, I, I many, like it. Have, yeah. You've done nothing. Like other, than, obviously, like there's only so much we can do in the driving spot. <laughs> it's it's. I like it. It's this is. I mean, for somebody that drives a nine-inch lifted truck on 14 that's wide a nine -inch every lift? day, Holy yeah, it's a nine-inch lift for for a truck that's, and for for whatever reason, it's it's only Chevys. So the Chevys, the Chevys lift kits are way smaller than they should be. If you took a Ford and a Chevy and you put nine and nine together, it, there's no yeah, there cool. there's no comparison. That's the weird. Fords are definitely taller, which I think they just come shorter from the factory so you have to lift them more just even that out. much more and it's the same with like the jeeps than the, the 2500s the jeeps lift this is a four inch lift and it's just as tall as mine but you've also got 38s on it and i've only got but that's only an inch and a half technically and these tires run a little bit small they're saying the patagonias my mm -hmm. buddy was telling me that the patagonias like it's they're 38s but they really only register like 37 and a quarter or something like that yeah they're still good tires they're just they just read a little bit bigger. yeah yeah, yeah. from just from like working a discount them. some of the for the money those those patagonias are you get so much like I think it's almost as tall as a dually. Like, it's pretty tall. We'll have, uh, hopefully we'll get a seat today. I think Lewis said he wanted to get it running today. And I get it. So. I want to get it out Get there. the bed on, get it on on the road. Well, here, switch out with me. Let's, I want to go Let's fucking go. climb it. Right? 
So I know we were gonna go look at there. We had some other plans for this video, obviously, but we're we're just gonna go with the flow. Yeah, just ride with it. Like, like oh. get kicked off. Kicked Holy off. crap! It's a little bit of work getting in here, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Holy crap! Okay, I saw what I wanted. Because the 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 trucks have a much bigger door, so there's a lot more room to just kind of sloppily hop in. But then the uh, the jeeps. Yeah, then the jeeps. The jeeps have such a smaller door. Actually, they're the same size. Really? Mm -hmm. They built them on the exact same. If, if I remember correctly. Are we gonna? Are we gonna do it? I think we can do this. We can make that. Oh man. I don't even know if we have to put in four wheel drive. <laughs> you want me to get out and film this? No, nah, we don't need that. We'll have to really put in four wheel drive. Put in neutral, and then what is it? How do Here, you do let this me. Thing? One of us has oh. to film the outside of it. Oh, look at the flex though. This video just turned into off-roading with Do It With Dan. Oh, that's easy. Put it in four wheel drive and it just, and it eats. Are you coming back down? That was so easy. I'm in love, yeah. Here, later. Yeah, we need to. <laughs> How'd it look? Easy? Yeah. Yeah, once you put it in four wheel drive, it just oh, yeah, eats like, right up. It's gonna slip you on by like no one sees us. Just doing a little bit of redneck climbing. Ten percent off. off. Heatwave visual. Sunglasses. Link below. Make sure to check out him. <laughs> He's the wide bow tie. The widest. Like we just climbed up. I mean, that's not like that's hard, but it looked a lot worse. It looks from the yeah. inside than. I just all I all I'm, all I'm gonna tell you guys is Dan's dually will run today. It will drive. So stay tuned. If you guys are fans of Dan's channel, make sure you guys follow his. Instagram, subscribe to his YouTube, check out his YouTube channel. He will have videos coming soon about the dually. But today, I wanna to get back to it. One, I wanna I want to take a minute and tell you guys a little bit about Dan's Gladiator over here. He just put a four inch lift kit on it, some black rhino wheels, spike lug nuts, some 38 inch Patagonia Milestar mud tires. Thing looked absolutely insane. Obviously, we just went and took a ride in it. Uh, I'm, I really like these gladiators, man. Especially once they get lifted like this, these gladiators are freaking awesome. Just look at this thing. And it's, and it's not too crazy cramped inside. I mean, I know you guys got a little feel of that a minute ago when we drove it, but uh, again, huge shout out to Dan for, for letting me do that. That was freaking awesome. And we did a little off-roading with it today too. So, but I mean, I mean, look at, look at the, look at the difference between this. So this is a nine inch lifted truck and a four inch lifted gladiator. I mean, that's, that's a little embarrassing to be honest, but you know, it is what it is. We deal with what we got, but I want to give you guys a little bit of an update. So for those of you that are new to the channel, this is my, hold on, hold on. I know Dan's not going to be too mad about this. Hold on. Dan, if you're watching this, this is, <laughs> this is just for you. This is my 2014 Chevy Silverado, nine inch lift on 22 by 14s and 375 45 22s. So it's a nine inch lift, 14 wides, 35 by 15 tire is pretty much what that ends up being. I've got all kinds of crazy stuff done to this. Well, I mean, not crazy stuff, it's normal for us, but that's kind of what we got going on. For those of you that are new to the channel, this is my build, this is my baby. I've got custom headlight or I guess you, maybe I guess they're custom headlights, D badge, color match stuff, custom fog lights, new gears all the way around, straight piped exhaust, subs on the inside. I've got all kinds of crazy stuff. If you guys want a more detailed video, let me know and I will give you guys that. But the biggest thing I know you guys are waiting on today is build plans for the Tahoe and the truck, and that's kind of what we're going to touch on today. So I know that I talk about it a lot with you guys. What I kind of want to do with the truck or the kind of direction obviously we want to match the two the goal is to match the two we want to have two lifted trucks same color same style so we can ride around and break necks together i mean a family that breaks necks together stays together and that's the goal so obviously mine nine inch lift 14 wides we're going to stick with that i'm going to get a new nine inch kit 
uh, I think we're gonna jump to 24 by 14s instead of 22 by 14s. And I think they, and one of the reasons we wanna do that, we had really considered doing 26s. And honestly, I really would like to do 26s, but they don't make a 375 for 26s. Now I know there's, I've seen some people on Instagram with the 24 inch 375, and that's definitely the direction I wanna go. I wanna keep the 375s because that's what's kind of made the truck what it is. And that's kind of the direction that I want to go. So we're gonna go 24 by 14, keep the 375s, keep the nine inch lift, get a new nine inch McGoy's lift kit. I think I really wanna go up a little bit though. So I might do coil overs or something just so I can give it a little bit more a little bit more height nothing crazy but I really want to go red I, I like red red's my favorite color red really sticks out and that's kind of where I want to go with this and I know I don't have the Tahoe here right now but I really want for the new year that's our goal is to is to get the Tahoe and the truck to a similar looking state so the goal for the two is nine inch lift 24 by 14s 375s all red everything maybe not red trucks we might do a different color wrap lnm wraps huge shout out to them link in the description below we might do a different color wrap i don't know but just know by daytona of this year the trucks are going to be matching and they're going to be big and wide and we're going to be breaking necks that's that was always the goal right is to break necks so man I'm excited. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of craziness that went on today. The video was supposed to be about the Tahoe and the truck, but you know, sometimes we just like to have fun and change it up a little bit. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, yes, our plan is to lift the truck and the Tahoe together. No lowering around here. We're gonna keep it big, keep it lifted, keep breaking necks. Thank you guys so much for stopping back by the channel. Huge shout out to Do It With Dan. I'll see you guys next time. Let's get this bread. They're gonna focus on music. <laughs>